Yes, student. I am happy to discuss about the respiratory system. The respiratory system, the network of organs and the tissues that help you breathe. It includes your airway, lungs, and blood vessels. The muscles that power your lungs are also part of the respiratory system. These parts work together to move, move oxygen throughout the body and clean out the waste gas like carbon dioxide. So here the great lemon biology section, the respiratory system. We will discuss about 30 questions. 30 questions. This one help you after studying this respiratory system or just for revision. So here the process of respiration, process of respiration. Respiration in human is a complex process and it occurs in three stages. Mention the three stages of respiration. So this is your first question. Your answer may be the gas exchange between external environment and lungs. So external environment, you know, we have Atmosphere, atmosphere, 78 percentage of nitrogen, 21 percentage of oxygen, and 0.03 percentage of carbon dioxide, water, and other uh, water vapor, other gases, noble gases, you know. The respiratory gases means the oxygen and the carbon dioxide. So this is the first step, gas exchange between external environment and the lungs. So you have to write the Second important stage is the gas exchange in alveoli. So alveoli is the small part in the uh, lungs, the lungs, the respiratory surface. So the third stage is the cellular respiration. Cellular respiration intake of oxygen into lungs and removal of gaseous waste. That means carbon dioxide in the cell occurs in ventilation. So these are the three important stages of respiration in humans. So he explained the gas exchange using this model. So in your book, you studied the material needed to make this model. So the balloon, Y tube, the shape of the tube is Y, and the rubber balloon, and the uh, jaw, bell jaw, or someone, somebody said that uh, glass jaw, glass jaw. And this is the model to explain the gas exchange in our lungs. Here we have to explain this model. So the balloons are taken for the lungs. So the yellow color balloon is for diaphragm. So here we will explain the gas exchange you using this model. So first we can say when rubber membranes pull down the volume inside the bell jaw increases. The volume increases. The external gas exchange and balloon get inflated. Inflated. So I explain, see the model again. So the balloon inflated. When you pull down the membrane, the balloon membrane, the volume increases and the atmospheric uh, getting in. So the next stage when we explain this one, and when we explain this model, then we can write. Uh, when rubber shed is released, gas inside balloon go out as volume of bell jar decreases. When the volume decreases, the gas go out. Likewise, the gas exchange between the external environment and the lungs occurs due to changes of volume of lungs. So here the second question, uh, the labeling. That is very important. This is the anatomy of the respiratory system. We have to explain the basic anatomy. So first part, we start from the buccal cavity. 
second one the starting part of the respiratory system is the nasal cavity nasal cavity behind the nose next part that is a common part for the digestive system and the respiratory system is the pharynx next to pharynx the larynx next to larynx we can write trachea trachea so here the bony part is the sternum that is found in the mid uh, front side uh, middle line the sternum next the bronchus that is a branch of the alveoli bronchus the branch of the bronchus is bronch bronchioles those are small tubes then you know the diaphragm that separates the stomach and the chest cavity the rib cage the rib bone are part of the skeletal system that protect and took part in the gas exchange inhaling and exhaling then the intercostal muscles is the most important part which connect the connect with the rib bone to move the chest upward backward forward like that so the parts of the respiratory system we will explain the parts one by one so the nasal cavity inside the nose you know the sticky mucous membrane lining the nasal cavity traps that part it is and tiny hairs called cilia help move them to nose to be sneezed or blown out this is the first part of the respiratory system next one the sinuses these are filled with spaces alongside the nose help make the skull lighter skull lighter so the next part we will think about the next part what is that that is pharynx both food uh, and air passes through the pharynx before reaching the appropriate destination the pharynx also plays important role in speech then next part is the larynx larynx the larynx larynx is essential to human speech the voice the vibrating the vocal cord found in the larynx so the vibration makes sound you know you studied in sound so the next part of the larynx is the trachea that is located just below the larynx the trachea is the main airway to the lungs next part is the lung together the lungs form one and one of the body's largest organ you know the largest organ is the skin so this one also largest organ like that one that uh, the, they are responsible for providing oxygen to capillaries and exhaling carbon dioxide that means gas exchange so we will think about the next part of the respiratory system the bronchi the bronchi branch of the trachea into two lungs right and left and create the network of indicate uh, passages that supply lungs with air so the after the bronchi the bronchioles are there next one is the diaphragm the diaphragm is the main respiratory muscle that contracts and relax to allow air into the air inhaling and exhaling so we will move to the fifth question indicate the passage of air into the lungs by flow diagram how to write the flow diagram so first start from the nasal cavity next to nasal cavity nasal cavity the gas the air go to pharynx next to the pharynx the air moves to larynx next to larynx the air moves to trachea after the trachea bronchus bronchus after the bronchus the air go to where the bronchioles bronchioles they are very tiny tubes found in the respiratory system finally the air go to the alveoli alveoli is the functional unit of the respiratory system so in this manner you have to show the flow diagram that indicate the passage of air into the lungs so next what are the changes that takes place when inhaled air passes through the nasal cavity 
So here, this is the epithelial tissue found in the nasal cavity. This epithelial tissue has certain adaptation, certain adaptation. Here now you can see clearly the cells, secreting cells, and some cilia, movement of the cilia, and something trapped in the cilia. So the inhale are purified by the structure in the nasal cavity. So what are the changes that take place when inhale they are passes through the nasal cavity? So just now you see the um, epithelial tissue. So the changes found in the nasal cavity. Internal surface of the nasal cavity is covered with mucus. So that one due to the presence of mucus in the nasal cavity lining, it is moist moist surface because of this secretion. These are the numerous, there are numerous cilia present on the lining of the nasal cavity, the mucosal cilia, not cilia, mucosal. Then a lot of cilia with mucus, so the moist. So what happened? And after that, the bacteria, dust, and the waste found in inhale, they are thick into the mucus. So this prevents the entry of or entry of them into the lungs by rhythmic movement of cilia. The waste material are sent out. Here again, you can see the structure of the cilia, the mucous membrane, and uh, the rhythmic movement, rhythmic movement of this uh, cilia. So the moisturing uh, inhaled there. So oh, the respiratory surface always moist, always moist. So the next thing is the warming up, the inhale there, warming up. Because you know we are warm-blooded animals. We are warm-blooded animals. So warming up, inhaled air, then removal of waste from inhaled air. Then explain, explain the eighth question, explain the mechanism of inhaling. So inhaling, you know, the lung, pleura, the rib cage, diaphragm, the backbone, sternum, all the parts are participated in this process, the mechanism of inhale. So inhale, exhale. So the gas, ex gas exchange takes place because of this inhale and exhale. You can see this phenomena in all mammals, not only humans, the dogs also. So we have to explain the mechanism of inhaling process. So first we talk about the inhaling, the intercostal muscles contract. You know the intercostal muscles that is connected with the rib bones. So first that muscle contract, therefore the rib moves up and sternum moves forward, up and forward, up and forward. At the same time, the diaphragm contracts. You know the diaphragm is the membrane found uh, lower part of the respiratory system. Uh, that one contracts and reduce its curvature, reduce its curvature, then due to to the above activities, the volume of the thoracic cavity increases. And with that, volume of the lung increases. Volume of the lung increases. So air into the lungs. So in this model also, you can understand the mechanism of inhaling. So here you see the rib bone, intercostal muscles, sternum and uh, diaphragm. So here all these parts working 24 hours for gas exchange, for gas exchange. So again, you see clearly the inhaling and exhaling mechanism. So the respiratory system, you have to clearly understand this process. And again, you see this clip. Here, the inhaling gas taking in, the gas air goes in, and exhale the 
air comes from the lungs to the environment so the inhale and the exhale those two process are done by these structures reborn intercostal muscle sternum and the diaphragm so explain the mechanism of exhaling exhaling that removing the air to the environment so that one opposite to the inhale intercostal muscle relax so the relaxation what happened the sternum and rib moves into its original position the sternum you know the part of the skeletal system found in the chest the diaphragm relax and becomes curved due to the human process biology these activities the volume of the lungs decreases in the costa muscle relax sternum and ribs moves into it and or comes to the original position the diaphragm relax and become curved so what happened the volume of the lung decreases gas inside the lungs move out through trachea and then nasal cavity so exhaling takes place the next question labeled the parts so here some parts are given this is a part of the respiratory system this is a part of the respiratory system we have labeled the parts the anatomy of the respiratory system is very very important for this uh, to understand the uh, respiration so here what is cartilage the cartilage cover the uh, subbronchi subbronchi that one gives support gives support so the next part you know that is air sac air sac that is a large part i think that one after that the alveoli is small sac small sac the alveoli is the functional unit of the respiratory system functional unit of the respiratory system finally the blood capillary is richly supplied to the alveoli rich supply because efficient gas exchange so here how normal uh, lung function you see this video inhale and the alveoli they are getting large and the exchange of gas takes place here in the lungs that one magnified and you can see clearly inhale and exhale the behavior pattern of this alveoli the air sac air sac also here in this manner the respiration takes place the gas exchange takes place you see you see the air sac and the alveoli here lungs right and left lungs the gas coming in so this clip clearly indicates this process send one how do the gas exchange that takes place in alveoli so here this is simple unit so here in the alveoli the oxygen concentration is low but the outer part the alveoli has rich in oxygen rich oxygen so what happens the oxygen diffuses through this thin membrane here you see the red blood cell bring carbon dioxide that one sending out and taking oxygen so you know the red blood cells have hemoglobin hemoglobin the red color pigment so oxygen combine with the uh, hemoglobin and converted into oxyhemoglobin oxyhemoglobin and carries oxygen to the cell oxygen into the cell so here we have to explain this process how do the gas exchange that takes place in the alveoli so the oxygen concentration alveoli is greater than that of the blood capillary network greater than that of the blood capillary network inside the alveoli the oxygen concentration is very high therefore oxygen diffuses out of the alveoli into blood capillary similarly carbon dioxide and the water vapor concentration is greater in the blood capillary because those are taken from the body cells so uh, that one from the alveoli so that one diffuse carbon dioxide and water diffuse into the exhale air exhale air so here you have to talk about the concentration of oxygen and the concentration of 
carbon dioxide the gas exchange that takes place in alveoli you see this the alveoli inhale and exhale the volume increases and decreases sending out gas and taking the gas in so twelfth question what is a respiratory surface of human simple the wall of alveoli wall of alveoli is the respiratory surface of alveoli name the following structures related to the respiratory system we studied the respiratory system now we have to clearly express this part so what is this part can we identify this part next one this one another portion this one is actually microscopic so we have to identify these structures found in the respiratory system the first diagram is the air sac air sac the second diagram the alveoli that is the basic part for the gas exchange gas exchange so you have to identify the parts of the respiratory system what is the main function of the structure shown here one structure is shown so what is the main function what is happening here so you know this one labeled as alveoli so what is the function what is happening here so we have to explain the function what happened air exchange between alveoli and blood capillaries in this diagram you can see clearly the blood vessel uh, the blood vessel also have single uh, cell thickness single cell thickness the alveoli has single cell cell thickness very very thin surface very thin surface so air exchange takes place between alveoli and the blood capillary blood capillaries here you can see clearly here exchange of gas in between alveoli and blood capillaries alveoli and blood capillaries here you see clearly this video indicates those things so here what are the adaptations of the what are the adaptations what are the adaptations of the respiratory surface for efficient gas exchange what are the adaptation so here we will think about the ad adaptation so the this question asks you the efficient gas exchange here in this diagram that one is explained the surface should be moist and permeable for gas all all the animals the respiratory surface is moistened moistened surface so so the moistened surface facilitates the diffusion of gas because that one dissolves in moist the water so here that is thin so here that one mentioned as moistened and permeable for gas exchange second one surface should be thin for diffusion of gas when you see clearly you can see the one cell thickness of the blood vessel blood capillary and the alveolar wall also one cell thickness so another adaptation a large surface this diagram you can see clearly a large surface area to exchange lung lung volume of the gas according to the need of animal the next diagram you see surface should be highly vascularized what is mean by vascularized vascularized mean rich blood supply rich blood supply so the blood take the uh, inhaled oxygen and remove carbon dioxide quickly so the rich blood supply that is known as vascularized so what are the adaptations of the alveoli for exchange gas efficient efficient exchange gas in human so this is very very important question the adaptation from the alveoli the presence of blood capillary presence of blood capillary the thin alveolar wall thin alveolar wall moist alveolar surface presence of large number of alveolar sacs to increase the surface and efficient gas exchange the next question the 17 where does respiration takes place in the cell where does respiration takes place so you studied the gas exchange not the respiration gas exchange 
those are those adaptation for gas exchange not for respiration so the respiration takes place in the mitochondria mitochondria to know all the living cells so eukaryotic cells eukaryotic cells have mitochondria for respiration mitochondria a lot of respiratory enzymes are there so the enzymes are biocatalysts enzymes are biocatalysts so where does respiration takes place in mitochondria where does respiration takes place in the cell mitochondria in plant also not only human not only other animals in plant also the mitochondria the important part important organelle like nucleus like nucleus this one is considered as the, as the power house of the cell power house of the cell okay you studied this one in the in uh, cytology the cell structure so what is respiration simple question what is respiration what is happening in the cell so what is the purpose of the respiration so here you see the mitochondria this is the section of the mitochondria here inside the mitochondria this one double walled structure and inside lot of enzymes dna also they are that one produce uh respiratory enzymes for respiration so what is respiration it is a biochemical process that occurs within the cell of organism in this process the energy is produced by the breaking down of glucose which is further used by cells to perform various functions but you know this is a biochemical process not the chemical process biochemical process because enzymes involve this activity so in this process the energy is produced so energy is trapped in the glucose glucose so you know the plant produce glucose in the process of uh, photosynthesis photosynthesis so they are autotroph we are heterotroph we take energy from the plant so this is the definition for the respiration i uh, write the word equation for the respiration this is very very important question what is write the word equation for the respiration so word equation you have start from glucose glucose react with oxygen and enzymes enzymes are biocatalyst the products are carbon dioxide water and important thing is the energy for energy the energy found in the glucose in the form of chemical energy so that one uh, taken out by this enzymic activity in the cell especially mitochondria right the balanced chemical equation so chemical equation you have to you have to mention the chemical forms chemical formulas what is the formula for glucose carbon dioxide oxygen and balance balance the equation so balance to mean you know the reactants and the products should be balanced the reactants are the glucose and oxygen the enzyme also enzyme are the biocatalyst and the products carbon dioxide water and energy when you balance you have to balance the number of atoms uh, in the reactants and the products and the products so this reaction is very very important this opposite to the photosynthesis photosynthesis so that is you know the metabolism also this is metabolic reaction but this one is catabolism because breaking down of glucose and taking out the energy that is trapped in the glucose so what is anaerobic respiration so early you studied aerobic respiration the respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen so what is anaerobic respiration so you have to define organism can rest here without oxygen without oxygen is very important organism can rest here without oxygen without oxygen respiration carried out by organisms without oxygen is known as anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration without oxygen so how do you write the equation so word equation here glucose here enzyme also there the products are there ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol carbon dioxide and energy and energy so here also reaction is glucose but no oxygen but enzymes are there enzyme involved this reaction and product is 
ethyl alcohol carbon dioxide the important thing is the energy so here in this manner you have to write the answer the word equation for the anaerobic respiration so what kind of anaerobic respiration found in plants and animals plants and animals in plants you know the anaerobic respiration produce alcohol so that is known as alcoholic fermentation so in plants aerobic respiration also there if it is in anaerobic that is known as alcoholic fermentation but in animal what is the name that is called lactic acid fermentation that is known as lactic acid fermentation so remember these important points of anaerobic respiration in plants and animal what is alcoholic fermentation what is mean by alcoholic fermentation so alcoholic fermentation anaerobic respiration that takes place in plant is known as alcoholic fermentation anaerobic respiration that takes place in plant is known as alcoholic fermentation what is mean by lactic acid fermentation lactic acid fermentation the anaerobic respiration that takes place within the animal cell is referred to as lactic acid fermentation so here this organism you know or uh, this is example is for fungus unicellular fungus unicellular fungus so you i think you can identify this organism this one uh, reproduced by budding reproduced by budding this is the actual uh, microscopic view of this fungus you studied about the features of the fungus so fungus are heterotrophic so here name one organism which involved anaerobic respiration what is the organism we use this organism this organism is known as what yeast this organism is known as yeast this is a example for fungus so atp adenosine triphosphate this is a very very important molecule found in all the cells found in all cells atp adenosine triphosphate tri means three three phosphate in between these phosphate molecules you know the energy is trapped the form of chemical energy chemical energy so the atp found in all the cells but the respiration takes place in the mitochondria those energy stored up here we are in the atp so atp acts as source of energy source of energy and release of energy when required next one this energy carried by this one so act as energy carrier so these three uh, functions are very important for atp so describe briefly what is asthma so we think about the diseases of respiratory system you know the respiratory system affected mostly because we take air from the atmosphere if the atmosphere is pure no problem if it is impure with the dust some of the microorganisms some are harmful very very harmful some disease spread through the air so we get a lot of things through the air the air has you know oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide water vapor other than these things also there the dust microorganism pollen grain spores so a lot of things unwanted gases poisonous gases so these things are harmful for our healthy uh, lungs and healthy respiratory system so here first disease 27th question describe briefly what is asthma here you see in the uh, trachea and the other vessels found in the respiratory system the first one is the normal one first one is the normal one see the second one what happened to the second one so second one the the, the diameter is reduced the swelling of this 
oh see here this is a problem what is the reason the asthma then inflammation that occurs in the body inflammation occurs in the body the first one is the normal second one is the abnormal why those are due to the dust pollen grain sawdust fall that means animal hairs or cat dog like that smoke or uh, some causative agent some people allergies for these things dust pollen grain sawdust or smoke so due to those substances the bronchioles get inflamed inflamed swelling and the cross area of them reduced so causing difficulty in breathing difficulty in breathing so this is the brief account for the asthma so here nesting the tuberculosis is one of the dangerous disease so here the bacteria in the you see here through the so here this is the bacteria in front of mouth you see clearly so that one enter through the mouth so that one enter here you see the uh, infection this is known as infection of tuberculosis the bacteria enter the respiratory system here down you see the bacterium tuberculosis tb bacteria bacterium tuberculosis so tuberculosis is caused by tuberculosis bacillus or bacterium tuberculosis mainly the lungs are infected but in it may affect other parts of the body also so this one is the dangerous disease then parts of the tissue can be released with the phlegm the lungs are deteriorated and get perform perforated and uh, what happened blood release with the phlegm so sometimes the blood comes out with the sputum like that so breakdown of black blood vessels so this this is a little dangerous so next the symptoms of tuberculosis cough so that one produce greenish yellow or even bloody mucus fever uh, shaking chills shortness of breath breathing difficulties rapid slow breathing shallow breathing also loss of appetite loss of energy and fatigue describe briefly what is pneumonia this is another one bacterial infection so here the lungs are infected by the pneumonia bacteria pneumonia bacteria here the name of the bacteria is pneumococcus pneumococcus haemophilus pneumococcus this dangerous one pneumonia an infection run or both lungs bacteria virus and the, some fungus also well, some fungus also so the infection causes the inflammation of the sac in your lungs which are called alveoli which are called alveoli the alveoli fill with fluid that is the dangerous thing fill with fluid or pus making difficult to breathe the pneumonia you know that covid 19 also create the pneumonia so this condition you can see our alveoli what happened to the alveoli alveoli filled with some other liquids because of this infection this infection may be virus or the infection may be bacteria bacteria so this is the condition of the pneumonia so we revised a lot of things so sample question below given is a diagram of alveoli uh, what uh, right uh, substance right a substance that diffuses uh, from the alveoli to blood capillaries that is very simple question state the adaptation of wall of alveoli for efficient gas exchange so the third question what what is the disease cause abnormal cell growth due to epithelial cells of trachea exposed to cigarette smoke you know abnormal cell growth what is that that is cancer lung cancer abnormal cell growth mean cancer cancer mean abnormal abnormal cell growth so the smoking people definitely they will get 
cancer, lung cancer. Define the anaerobic respiration and state the anaerobic reduction by word formula that takes place in plants. So I think all these things are revised. Uh, writing answer is very, very simple. Uh, what is the substance reduced from alveolar to the blood capillary? Oxygen. So blood capillaries to our alveolar, carbon dioxide. Say the adaptation, you studied the adaptation. So sample answers are here. The first one answer is oxygen. Second one, the adaptation, thin alveolar or folded alveolar surface. So I mentioned only two. They asked two. Uh, the third one, the lung cancer, you know, the disease, abnormal cell growth of the epithelial cells, it's known as lung cancer, define the anaerobic respiration and, uh, you know, the reaction, glucose is the reaction, the products are ethyl alcohol, carbon dioxide and energy. So, for example, uh, I discussed one qu first question also. Thank you very much. This one may be very helpful for you. This one, just revision. We discussed. 30 questions in a respiratory system. Better you subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. I am Venilan from Hindu College.